Welcome to the Learn to Sew Academy channel. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. To make this bow tie, you're going to be needing some strips of fabric, some thread, scissors, or rotary cutter, and a ruler. So here are the dimensions we need for the fabric we'll be cutting. So we're going to have a neck circumference and we had four inches to that. We're going to also have two fabric cut into 10 by 3 inches. And then the last one is going to be the 2.25. That's 2 1 quarter by 4. I am on some fusible interfacing on one of the shorter strips of fabric. This is because this fabric is very light. So this is just going to give it some weight. First thing we want to do is place the two pieces together, the 10 by 3 pieces. And we're just going to sew it across like that, all across. And we leave one end open. Just clip the edges a little, just like so. Then we're going to turn this inside out. We we'll just use the scissors to push out the edges. Next, I'm going to iron this out and I'm going to tuck in the edge like this when I iron it. I'm going to top stitch this across like that. Next, we're going to fold this in into the middle and then we'll iron this out. When we do this, this part that will be on the outside is the part that have the fusible interfacing. Next, we go to her sewing machine. This is the look we're hoping to get with the bow tie. They're open for a look like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the midpoint right there. We so just run some stitches like one inch or 0.75 inch on both ways from the center across like that and depending on how deep you want it to be you can do like half an inch you can do like a quarter of an inch this again is what we're hoping to achieve next we're going to fold the short strip of fabric and we're just going to sew it up now we take the longest strip of fabric and we fold this over and then we sew it right at the edge like that using like a quarter seam or one eighth of a seam. Now you turn this inside out. So what we're going to do next is to iron this in such a way that the seam is in the center. Turn the edges in and iron that too. Press that too. And then we'll go to the sewing machine and seam the edges. So we go ahead and just stitch the edges. We do the same with this. We want to flip this with the right side out. We're going to center the same again, just like we did with the longer strip of fabric. We're going to center the same and we're going to iron it as well. Next, we want to take our bow that we made earlier. And we want to wrap this around 
like so. So I want to make sure that we center it. Then we go around and we're going to go to the sewing machine and just sew this down. Next, clip off the excess fabric and you can search or zigzag the tip right there. As you can see, I passed a long strip of fabric through the back of the bow so that we can have something to wrap around the neck. You don't need to, but I just decided to tuck this down real quick just to make it neater. So I'm just going to use a hand um, sewing needle. So next is to put some Velcro, some hook and loop at the edges. And I've made this a little longer so that it grows with the child. So you may want to put some longer ones so that as the child grows you just extend it so that's what i'm going to be doing here so we're going to put one on the inner side like this and we're going to put the other part of the velcro on the outer um, side of the tie so that when you do it it goes like that i'm using a stick on look and look just because that's what i have right now you can also get one that you sew on and if you're not comfortable with the stick on you can still go ahead and run your sewing machine across and just sew it in place especially if you feel you may be washing your bow tie you may want to use a sewing machine and lock it in in place but other than that this is quite good it's stuck on and it's okay already so i'm gonna put it on the other side again on the inner part so that it goes like that and we are all done so this is what we have I hope you found this tutorial useful please remember to subscribe if you haven't already to this channel and also remember to give us a thumbs up if you like what you've seen. And please share this tutorial as well. Thank you. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.